this story, I'm going to tell you it fits right with what Mary Jane was talking about. There's this TV program, Adventist program called uh, The Quiet Hour. And The Quiet Hour has TV programs here and all around the world. And they go around the world and, and do mission stories in other countries. And this particular time, they went to Russia. And they were in the south part of Russia. And um, there was a problem. When they went to Russia, the people over there don't understand English. So what are you going to do? They found a young man who was just 17 years old, and he could speak English. So they asked him to come to their health expo and he, whenever they uh, spoke in English, he would tell the people what they were saying in Russian. He was just 17 years old, and he worked with them through the whole program. And then when that was done there, they wanted to go to northern Russia, and they, it was supper time, and they said, Stephen, would you please come with us and be our interpreter in our new program in the, in the north of Russia? Well, yeah, he'd like to do that, but he went home and he asked his mom, would be okay if I went with her? She said, oh, sure. Go ahead and go. It'd be a way for you to practice speaking English. So he went with her. Um, so the local pastor there, before they left, he said to Stephen, if you decide to be baptized, he said, I'd be glad to baptize you. You know what Stephen did? He looked at him like, are you crazy? Me be baptized? Oh, I didn't think so. So, anyway, he noticed though that each morning, all the people that worked for the Quiet Hour program, they would get together in the morning, they would read the Bible, they would pray, and have devotion. Hmm, he thought that was kind of interesting. So, <coughs> He worked with them for two months, and then the Quiet Hour program decided they were going to Lithuania, which is a different country. Well, when you go to a different country, you have to have a passport. And they asked Stephen, would you please go with us too and, and be our interpreter in Lithuania? Yeah, I'd like to, but I have a problem. I forgot, I don't have my passport with me. Do you know what a passport is? Do you know what a passport is, Bacana? It's a piece of paper that has your picture on it and your, where you live and how old you are. And when you go to a different country, you have to give it to the people before you leave the country and then you have to give it to them after you get in the country. Well, Mr. Page, who was the leader of the Quiet Hour Group, said, I tell you what, I'll give you $100, you get on a bus, Go home, get your passport, come back tonight at night, and you can go with us. <sighs> okay, so the next morning he got up really early. And well, he noticed those Adventist people from the quiet hour praying. So he said, Dear Lord, I don't know where the bus station is. I don't know this town. Will you please? Go with me, show me where it is. And he started out walking. And all of a sudden, he came to the bus station, and here is the bus sitting there with people on it, and the door was open. And the people inside the bus were like talking to the driver, why are we waiting here? Come on, what are you waiting for? Let's get going. And just then Stephen walked up, walked in the bus and sat down, shut the door and away they went. Do you think God was holding the bus for Stephen? I think so too. And you know, he said that a lot of different things, miracles happened that whole time. While he was waiting, while he was working and going back and forth to get his passport. And so when he got back with his passport, He said to the people at the Quiet Hour Group, I have decided 
that God was with me when I went to get my passport, and now I want to be baptized. He had just told the pastor that he didn't think he wanted to be baptized, and now he was going to be baptized. And the people with the quiet hour group, yay, and they clapped their hands. They were so happy. And so he was baptized when he was 17 years old. And then, after six years, you know what happened? Oh, come on. Six years after he was baptized, he married the pastor's daughter. And now, he's 42 years old. He's a professional interpreter working for United Nations. And he also has an organization that helps orphan children. Mikhail, do you know what an orphan is? An orphan is somebody who doesn't have a mommy or daddy to take care of them or could live with. And he helps orphans and he's an interpreter. And he said, the text in the Bible under Romans chapter 5 verse 1 fits his life. It says, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't that a beautiful story? I just love that. That's why I wanted to share it with you. So let's pray, okay? Dear Father in heaven, we thank you so much for your love and kindness. And we thank you for the quiet hour and all the other uh, programs that our denomination has going around the world. We pray that the, that the work will be sent soon finished and we can see Jesus coming in the clouds of heaven with thousands of angels to lift us up and take us home with him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.